Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another mansion video. So today I have a brand new mansion to show you guys again. I just enjoy making those mansions off camera, just working on them. And I actually didn't finish it, that way I can leave some stuff up to you guys on what I should do with some of the like backyard stuff. Uh, if you guys want me to do interior, I can. And I do want to stress that this will not be a tutorial. I am doing more of this style nowadays of just building the mansion, showing it to you guys. And I really feel like people are loving that idea of it. And the viewers are really just, it, it really shows that. So this newer mansion is more of a traditional style. You maybe saw it a little bit down there. Couldn't see all the details though. So let's turn around and see what it looks like. Not that one. That one was a couple weeks ago. This one over here is one I just made. So again, this is more of a traditional style here that you're going to see. A lot more older style, but one, I used the new concrete materials, and I really feel like it was a great choice. It looks very smooth, which is what I like about it. And on the corners, I added these blocks here, which is the same color. It's just actually powder instead of the actual concrete block. And that way, it's still not a huge color difference there. But overall, I think it just really turned out really well. The gray with the white, everything kind of flows together very smoothly. And even the roof is very nice. It's not too steep. It's not too small. I really feel like it hits the sweet spot when it comes to most of the things here. Uh, the driveway, I finally made the house far enough back from the street to where I could add an actual driveway that I would actually like. I want to add some more trees and stuff like that here in the front yard. I'm just That takes some time to do, surprisingly, uh, especially if you want to make a man-made trees. Uh, which is how I'd want to do it. That way they're kind of more uniformed and organized, I guess. And as you can tell, I mean, when we step back away, you can see the banners on the windows go away. And even without them there, the house still looks good. I feel like it just adds a little bit of extra depth and color to the front of the house. The backside of the house is not complete, while well, the backyard is not. And the reason why is I want you guys to tell me what you guys want me to put back here. Should I add a pool? Should I add a tennis court? What should I really do here? Should I add a bigger deck? There's a lot of, there's actually a lot of stuff you can really do. Should I just do more landscaping at a guest house? There's really quite a bit I can do with all this stuff back here. And the back still looks pretty good here. So it's still that kind of traditional style, but it kind of goes into the modern design a little bit here and there because the front definitely looks more traditional than the back. And that's how I really wanted it to look because usually the back of houses are a little bit more plain. I still want to add some detail into the backside. And if you guys are wanting to recreate this house, uh, again, it's not going to be a tutorial, but one of the best ways you can actually do this is actually by looking at the windows and counting how many blocks, you know, one section is. Don't worry about the entire house. Go section by section. Like this piece, I would need, I think, nine or ten blocks, maybe eleven. Uh, I'm not counting them here right now. And then over here, you do this section next, then you would come out two blocks, do that section. And that's pretty much exactly what I do if I'm ever trying to recreate something in Minecraft, is that you just look at different sections and put all those sections together to make your final product. And that's really just what you need to do here if you want to recreate this. I'm not sure how much space you need, so really to be safe, I'd probably go 100 by 100 and start all over on the left side. That's how I started mine. Uh, usually I start all my buildings over on the left, or actually I guess right side, if you're facing the front. Usually I start mine over on the right side simply because of the fact that I usually build from right to left instead of left to right. So usually that's why I'm going to start over on the right side, that way I make sure I have enough room going forward. And yeah, I really think this turned out great. I'm interested to see, I'm kind of interested surprisingly to do interior for this house because it is a very unique house. I've never really built a traditional style like this before, so it's kind of, it's interesting. I'm actually really liking the style of it. I like how it looks in the long run. Um, it's very classy, but still very modern at the same time, especially using these materials that we used. And I think just overall, it's a very, very nice mansion. I like the big patio back here, uh, the dual patio, whatever you call it, balconies. And originally, when I was adding that, I wasn't sure if I liked it. I was like, oh, I'm not sure. But then as I added more design to the railings and all that good stuff, I really started to like how it came about and just how it looked. I mean, there is quite a bit of space on the inside here. I mean, you can tell there's, it's pretty, it's a mansion, right? I mean, so you're going to have a lot of space on the inside. And over here is going to be the garage. We have a three-car garage. It'd probably end right here. You'd maybe have a mudroom where this goer uh, comes into the house. Not sure where the stairs would be. Again, if you guys want me to do interior, maybe I could live stream it because I have been doing a lot more live streaming over on Mixer.com. Uh, if you want to follow me over there, it's at PowerPlay Gaming. And it's just a really, it's a really good house, I think. And I'm really happy. 
it's not as big as some of these other ones, but what it lacks in size, it's still let you know on some of these other houses. It feels like there's a lot more detail put into this house. Uh, so really, I want to hear what you guys think. What should I add to the backyard? What should I do to the interior? If you guys have any layouts, also just let me know. Send me pictures on Twitter at Patsky Designs. You can find that link down in the description. And I will use your guys' designs to come up with different ideas. And, oop, get rid of those. I think I used those for the where the floor needed to go back here just to make sure they were level. But, yeah, I think overall I'm pretty happy with it. But I want to see what you guys have to say about it and what things I could do better, what I could do with the backyard, and what I could do with the interior. So, again... If you do have anything for me, uh, or even pictures, just share it with me on Twitter, and I will see what I can do. So, thank you guys for watching. It is greatly appreciated, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.